Hello everyone, it's Lloyd, Gizmos Games. Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, we had moved from Texas to California. We're in our new shop now, 1526 North Palm in Fresno in the Tower District. If you're in the area, come by. Um, anyways, on to the video. Uh, today we're doing pre-release pack blue for Jace. Um, never can pronounce his last name, but you can see it there in the video. Um, <clears throat> pre-release packs were pretty simple this time. Six packs. Uh, Magic Origins and the Seated Pack. So let's get into this and see what we got. Here's the back of the pack. So it's so first thing to come out of the pack, we have the, uh, the card for pre-release. Um, as you open it up, um, tips to do that's new to Magic, uh, some tips on how to build a deck. Um, as many of you may know, these are made for a sealed pre-release event. So these tips are kind of vital for actually getting the deck built and playing the event. And then inside, I'll kind of go through this, there's some objectives, I guess we can call these. Uh, they're supposed to be for pre-release. Uh, this helps with your DCI count and getting points and, and all of that stuff. So, and I'm sure you can find this online if you actually want to go through and read it. But it's just a, a quick overview of what's in there. Okay, then we have our spin down. Pretty typical spin down of all the other sets. Uh, this one has a little fleck of, fleck of white in it. Um, I think the black one, or not the black one, the red one, has been my favorite so far I've seen. So here we have three packs, three packs, and a seated pack. So I'll go ahead and start with the seated pack. Uh, as you can see immediately, the uh, pre-release card we pulled out of this pack is the uh, the Jace Planeswalker. Um, as you know, the flip Planeswalker in this set are the flip cards from Innistrad. Go ahead and start with this one a little bit. Chase isn't too bad. Um, playing the pre-release, they're all pretty pretty easy to flip. Um, just FYI, if you are in a draft, you have to announce when you pull the flip cards in a draft. And of course, you need the checklist card. We play it in your deck. The checklist card has the magic back. Okay, so the other cards in, the, in the, this pack. Some uncommons. Of course, they reprinted the Scryfish. Some commons. Not horrible. Um, pretty good pack. So let's go on to our first actual pack. Let's see, this one has. So. The commons. A little bit of multicolor in this set. Not a huge fan of the multis. Let's see, where was a rare? A rare rule breaker. Actually, nice. Um, very playable with the, the pre release pack. Yeah, I mean, okay, foil. And tip card. Pack number two. Okay. So. Pretty heavy on the goblins, birds, elves. Um, looks like we're gonna be set up here for uh, goblins, goblins, elves, and zombies. Um, notice from playing the pre-release, bunch of zombie uh, plus and buffs and hate in black. Flame shadow conjuring. Eh, can take or leave it. A second foil. It's kind of surprising. And our Elf Warrior token. So let's go through these cones. Actor Trees. I've seen several people playing this in pre release. Seems really weird. Celestial Flare. Either love it or hate it. 
Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet. If I play white, I'll love it. If I'm playing against white, I'll hate it. That's how it normally goes with that card anyway. Goblin Pile Driver, um, one of the stars of the set so far. Um, one of three cards outside the Planeswalkers that are worth any money. Um, I expect this card to actually see fairly heavy play in Modern as well. Um, and with Battle of Zendikar rotating out, him and uh, Rabble Master are going to be a very deadly combination. So, very happy so far with the pools. Um, just looking at this, if I was playing this pack in pre-release, I'd probably be playing another Act of Treason. Another Celestial Flare. Wow. Um, seeing the second Celestial Flare, I'd probably be playing a Red, White, Blue with this pack. Stratus Walk. <sighs> wow. Um, for, for Sealed, that's a pretty nice. Uh, Primal Master's Goggles. Mm. I don't know. I haven't haven't really played with this card yet much. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. It's just kind of kind of a black card for me right now. But we'll see. So next to last pack. Um, so far, really really nice as far as all really red red blue. So yoke docks. Of course, I have the reprint yoke docks. The gate. Drake. There's been a fair amount of flying, which has really kind of surprised me so far. Um, Gia's Revenge, 8-5 or 7. Not bad with haste. Yeah. I, I wouldn't play it just because we're not tuned to green in this seal, but draft. Oh, that'd be horrible, a draft. Um, swinging for 8 for 7. So on our last pack, another act of treason. I don't know how I feel about this card. It, I think it should be a three drop, not a four drop. Um, I don't know. This will be interesting. Um, I know life get at one point in time was a thing. If it does come back, I see that getting some play, but maybe some modern? No, too heavy for modern. I don't know, we'll see. But all in all, not a bad pack. Um, very playable. Um, I see immediately uh, the red-blue combination as far as playable. I would, I'd be really tempted to splash white for the Celestial Flares. Um, I, I really think they are that good, especially in a limited format. Um, any questions, comments, um, put them down in the field, and uh, thanks for watching.